More than a year after a devastating fire, some Twin Cities businesses are stepping up to replace what was lost. In June of last year, a fire burned through a group home on Ensign Avenue in New Hope. Three people with special needs were left homeless. John Lortzen shows us why there is now a push to rebuild. We heard a loud sound in a garage, and when I went there, there was a fire. Once a week, Adventure Try would show up at a group home to help a special needs resident named Ken. During a June morning last year, a fire spread from the garage to the house. Adventor heroically got Ken outside safely as flames and smoke took over. My car was somewhere here. The fire had already got on it. But afterwards, all Adventor could think about was that the men living here had just lost everything. We need to cater to the special need people in the community. David Beaker of Denali Custom Homes agrees. He has a son with special needs. Since it's near and dear to my heart, and also I understand the challenges of housing with people uh, as they age uh, with special needs, uh, we, we, we jumped right in. Beaker is now giving his time and services to help rebuild, and so are several other subcontractors. Many of them have stepped up and donated also 100% labor and materials to the creation of the house. The new home will have four bedrooms and three bathrooms. An interior designer is also donating her time to help. The hope is to have it all done in about six months. Four new residents would then move in. For Bill Schultz of Opportunity Partners, the organization that helps people with special needs find new homes, the generosity couldn't have come at a better time. The heart and soul of our mission is the people that just care so much about our mission and supporting people. In New Hope, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Denali will break ground on the new home Tuesday morning.